to my brother returning from war. When I was eight, your birthday was something I didn't know how to handle. I was the fourth wheel that watched Arthur in the other room while a stranger paraded in my kitchen and didn't even stay for the cake. There were hushed whispers behind doors with handles I couldn't reach, hidden scars and cloudy eyes that I couldn't quite understand, a binary code and bullet holes and empty promises and you'll see when you're older. But my infant eye saw more than a man in a uniform, a man who felt he had no purpose. I saw a soul. Buried beneath cigarette smoke and sleeping pills, I saw the product of our nationalism and our not caring. You were the hero that we failed to give a medal to. The kind of angel that wears a black cloak and broken wings, the god that we should have worshipped but swept over. Because you were big enough to swallow a grenade as big as fear, just to find a corner to call your own. You were the deviant of popular expectation. You fired a gun just to keep our parents from fighting. And they didn't even tell me to say thank you. So to you, birthdays were tallies on your chest. You didn't need to celebrate another year of living death. But to me, your birthdays meant hope. They meant honesty and reality because no matter how many doors they closed on the truth, you remained. You were not a sugar-coated, bubble-wrapped lie like the shit they wanted us to believe. You were not glorious. You were Boo Radley. Thorns covered your heart, but roses bloomed from them in the spring, and I wanted to know you. I wanted to hear words come from your locked jaw, spoken in chopped sonnets. I wanted to understand your ingrown roots like claws digging themselves into your sanity. I wanted you to tell me your favorite places to run away to. They didn't have to be real. Tell me about sleeping in a room full of ghosts. Tell me about before I was born. Tell me how much you have to drink before you forget. Tell me how you learn to love again. And if you can stay on this earth long enough to accept our opacity, then I suppose I can make it through tonight. Illuminate the path with your white lighter. And when it runs out of fluid, we can sit with the TV on to feign companionship. You will never be alone. You will have my clammy hands. I'll try not to flinch when you squeeze them too tight. You can take all that you need from me as long as you don't take any more from yourself. Not everything has to be an uphill battle. Breathe. You're 10 steps from the finish line. Breathe. Ignore the sirens. It is not you who is on fire. And breathe. Their conflict is not yours to fight. Put down your armor and breathe. Breathe until all you can hear is your breath on the window pane. It is not your birthday and we are not children. We are the survivors. You are not a catatonic discharge. You are an honorable one. I will be damned if they make you numb. And I may not be pro-war, but I am pro resistance and I am pro-fighting for what is right, and I will always, always fight for you.